Hello everyone and welcome back. So I need to pack up a makeup bag for two very exciting, oops, I didn't close this. Hold on a sec. Two very exciting getaways to the Alberta Rocky Mountains. And both of these trips are all thanks to my brother, which I quickly wanted to say how proud of him I am because he's working as a golf pro at the beautiful Jasper Park Lodge. I of course miss seeing him a few times a week, but he is so incredibly happy. He's meeting so many interesting people. He's making great connections and he's just so one with nature. He sends me pictures and videos of grizzly bears pretty much on the daily. And his job comes with some really incredible perks for friends and family. So I'm going with my best friend and his best friend who happen to be siblings too. So it's going to be a very cute siblings getaway. And then the following weekend, I'm going to BAMF with someone special. So I need to get to packing. So before I get started, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. I'm going to start off by packing some makeup brushes. So this is my brush case. It's a Smith Folio. So I usually have some things I've left in here. So I have these dual-ended brushes from Hourglass Huda Beauty handheld mirror. And in this little pochette here, I have my sharpener, a pair of scissors, tweezers for slivers, because you never know. I have eyelash glue, eyelash tweezers, some little hair clips, more lash glue, and a normal pair of tweezers. Now I'm going to throw in my face brushes. So I have my BK Beauty 101 brush for foundation, as well as my MAC 170 brush for foundation. I usually pack two. Now I have this accentuate brush from Moda, this Fenty 125 face brush, which is good for foundation, blush, bronzer. It's a good multi-purpose one. This is the Pro Glow brush from Moda. I have my Moda blending fan, this angled foundation brush from Shoppers Drug Mart from Quo. This very old brush from Sephora Collection. It's similar to their 56 brush these days. And lastly, this blush brush from BK Beauty. It's the 107. I'm actually gonna throw the face brushes back there. And then for eyes, I have a nice little variety here. So a Smith 230 BK Beauty A504. This is a refer 13. This is a ColourPop E25. This is a Smith 237, a nice big fluffy one. I have a Refer 27, another big fluffy brush. I have some little detailed brushes from Refer 2, so the Refer 3 and 23. Really, really nice sizes, especially this one. It's so, so perfect. These are the two angled brushes from Smith, so a 205 and a 203. And then lastly, I have a BK Beauty 208, BK Beauty 204, and a ColourPop E30 brush. And then I'm going to throw in some sponges here as well. So these two are e.l.f. complexion sponges, and this one is the Kosas one. I gotta close it fast. So now let's get into the actual makeup packing. So this is what I was thinking for complexion. This for my foundation and maybe these for my skin tints. Foundation has been sitting weird on my skin. This has been a great option, but I'm kind of in between these two shades. This one might be a little too shiny, but I'm just gonna pack this for a moment and I'm okay to take something out if it's not fitting. I forgot to mention what I have here. So this is the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum, the MAC Studio Radiance Face and body and the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Oh, quickly, I forgot about primers. I'm going to be packing these two. So the Smashbox Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer, as well as the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with 4% Niacinamide. These are currently a really good duo. I usually put this all over my face and then I put this in the center of my face, just in my T-zone to keep my skin looking fresh and matte and not oily. Now for my concealers, I have three good ones. So this would be like my everyday concealer. One, if I'm going to go for a no makeup makeup look and I just want to brighten up my under eyes, it's the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. This is the Revolution uh, Eye Bright concealer and this is the clay de peau concealer which I like to use as a foundation too if all foundations are looking weird and it's also super high coverage so if I need to spot correct with it it's a fantastic one to do so so I think this is a great number of concealers for everything I would need for my powders I'm thinking these two the Huda Beauty pound cake and Kosas cloud set in the shade feathery 
So kind of two great options. I'm just kind of sad that they both come in very chunky packaging. So we'll see how these fit. But these are my current go-to setting powders. They're so good. Now for bronzer and contour, I usually like to have a contour option and I'm going for the Milk Makeup one because it's so makeup bag friendly. For my cream bronzer, I'm going for my Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer, of course. And then the Fenty Beauty Indesen powder bronzer. It's such a nice tone for my skin right now and it just always looks good and I know I can put it on really quickly. I wasn't planning on packing a highlighter but I just didn't feel right leaving this one behind. This is the Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Exhilarate. It's so pretty and it's a great option if I want to add a little bit of glow. I forgot to go through things that just stay in my makeup bag. So I have these minis of the Charlotte Tilbury ones, so one in Spotlight and the other Pink Gasm. I have a mini Milk Makeup Setting Spray which will be coming, two Rare Beauty blushes, one in Believe and the other Happy, and my Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. So I'm going to leave all of these things in there. But now for my hardest category, which is deciding which blushes I want to pack. So these are all of the blushes I feel like I could not leave behind. <laughs> and we have to remember, I have these ones too. So I'm definitely going to be cutting this down because there's no way I don't have enough days to wear all of these. I just have to decide what my non-negotiables are here for what I'm wearing and such. This one is one of my non-negotiables. <laughs> Same with these guys here. Um, I feel like the Gucci Beauty one needs to stay here. I'm just a little worried it might get jostled and break. I don't know, it's just too precious to put in a makeup bag right now. I think it has to stay here. Um, this one, I feel like it needs to come with me, the House Labs and Hibiscus Haze. And then I feel like one rose ink should come, but what tone am I kind of missing here? All of my lip colors that I pulled out kind of suit these ones. So I think I'm going to leave rose ink, foxglove, and bring heliotrope. So these are the blushes I'm thinking about right now. I just cut out two, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I think I'm happy with these ones. I'm crazy about eyeliners, and these are all of the ones I feel tempted to bring. So I have a brown smudgy liner, which is the Slick Waterline Pencil from Melt in Cacao. And then I also have it in Ivory. I think these ones are for sure coming. Same with this brown pencil from Makeup Forever. This one's great at smudging, especially if I wanna go for something a little bit more smoky. And if I wanna add an inner corner detail, the Huda Beauty Life Liner Quick and Easy Brown Liner is my favorite for there. It's just never going to smudge on me or anything like that. And it has such a precise little end. Like it's so good at detail work. And I thought maybe I wanna do a black liquid liner, which I don't know if I will. I think I'm going to leave this one behind, but I need a black liner option. So I'm taking my Maybelline Smoky Pencil, which has been a forever favorite. I would need, honestly, I'm just gonna throw in the liquid liner because I have a feeling I'm gonna miss it now for some reason. So these are my eyeliners. I know it's a little extra, but I always, always, always wear eyeliner. So now for eye things, I think this is the palette I want to bring. It's the Kevin O'Quinn um, Neutral, the Contour Eyeshadow Palette. It just kind of has every tone I would need for a little getaway. I'm not going to be doing that much eye makeup, like nothing too crazy. And then I also felt like I wanted to bring my Bodyography Celestial Glitter Stuff, as well as my Urban Decay Space Cowboy. This is just so pretty and it's such a nice, easy thing to throw on for like an upscaled, quick look. It looks amazing always. So this is what I'm bringing for my eyes. And then for my mascara options, I'm going to bring these two holy grails of mine. So the MAC stack, but in waterproof because I know I'm going to be doing some swimming and I'm bringing my Lancome Lashy Doll as well. And I can't forget my eyelash curler. My favorite is the Shu Umura one. It's amazing. Um, and now for my brow products, I have my Rare Beauty Brow Powder Duo in the shade Auburn, Auburn Boy Brow from Glossier, and Auburn Pencil from Melt Cosmetics. And I forgot I wanted to bring a few of my little poofs from Huda Beauty as well. And last thing for eye makeup anyways, uh, I wanted to bring some of my lash clumps. They're both from Kiss Falscara. I just forget what style this one is, but it'll be listed in the description down below. But I also have the Bambi Wisps, which combines black and brown lashes, so it's really nice and soft for every day. And this is another category I always struggle to pack. 
lip products. This is everything I pulled out, which I will be cutting, but I have to find out what my non-negotiables are <laughs> So for lip liners, I have a few things that are similar shades, but I know I'm bringing Wherever Walnut and Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever for sure. My MAC Whirl Pencil is coming too. I don't have a tone like this. This is Melt Cosmetics Bare. Pinky Brown is already in my purse. I always have one there, so I know that's coming with me. But Muted Pink has been a popular choice for me. So I wouldn't need to bring Tower 28 Fill Me In because those two shades are very similar. And lastly, I have this Vibrant Pink, just in case. I'll swatch them all now. This is Wherever Walnut. Talking Points from MAC. This is Muted Pink from Huda Beauty. This is Melt Cosmetics Bare. This is MAC Whirl, such a classic. I felt like I needed to give it another whirl in my life. Maybe I'll enter my whirl phase again. And then this last one is Anywhere Caffeine. So I kind of have something for everything. And pencils are so easy to pack. And this is kind of silly. I know I'm not going to be able to wear all of these. Um, so let's go through them. So I have two shades in the Rare Beauty. How should I do this? Okay, I will just swatch everything and then that will help me decide. So I have the Rare Beauty Lip Oils in... Is this Hope or Happy? That's Hope. And I also have it in Honesty, which I like to combine the two. I like to use Honesty as a lip liner too that stains. It makes a really pretty effect. I have the Victoria Beckham Lip Stain in the shade Cherie, which is so cute. Such a nice color. I have Pomplamus from About Face. This is one of my new favorite products. I haven't been able to stop wearing this. It's the Armani, it's the Lip Maestro Satin in the shade 01. And it also kind of stains your lips and it kind of mattifies down. It's really, really nice. It's such a nice color. I have this Laura Mercier Petal Soft Lipstick Crayon. This is the only shade I kept. It's in the shade Ophélie. I don't know if that one's gonna come. I have this really nice lip oil from NYX, the Fat Lip Oil in Status Update, which is a nice bronzy color. I don't know if that's gonna come though. I don't think that's going to suit everything else I packed. I also pulled Supermodel, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm in the mood for that. I have my 130 Nude Heaven from L'Oreal, which will for sure be coming. I can't not bring that. <laughs> and then this is a classic that I always tend to pack, Teddy 2.0 from MAC. Same with Over the Taupe from MAC which I think will stay. That's a little bit more of a winter autumn shade for me. And then this is Stay Curious, which is my favorite color from MAC, just in every formula, which I'm not bringing Foxglove anymore, so I'm going to leave that one behind too. So these are the ones that I feel like I want to bring, but I feel like I need to bring just a clear gloss too. It's not very clear, but it's the Clarins Lip Oil in the shade Strawberry. It's pretty, it's pretty sheer, but It'll, it'll do for my gloss. Okay, so now let's pack it up and see if I have room for everything. Everything fits aside from my lashes, which I believe I can fit into my brush case. So we have liners, lip liners, eyebrow stuff, lash curler, and in the back here I have an eyebrow razor as well as a nail file just in case. And then down here I have just everything we said, most of my compact stuff, my base stuff, and my lashes, and then blushes and lip stuff.
And there we are, my bags are packed. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I know these tend to be a little bit chaotic, but I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll link everything I packed, as well as a similar makeup bag to this in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.